Alright guys, so in this video we're going to be talking about some really good winter time locations. We're even going to talk about some time of the day that you should fish these spots. And um, yeah, just pretty much get into some really good winter time fishing spots. So let's get started. The very first place that I'm going to recommend for you guys to go is because this place, anybody can go there and catch fish. You don't have to be casting really far. You don't have to have um, certain types of bait you know, or... You don't have to have the best gear out there to land really big fish because there's all kinds of fish out there. Now, also, you will find sometimes quality fish. Some of the biggest fish you'll find of the year could potentially be in this, in this location. So what you're going to have here is you have a dam here, but not just any dam, a warm water dam. These fish want to find warm water. If you can find a warm water dam, have access to fish a warm water dam, you need to be fishing a warm water dam. Here's why. So hey, here you got your dam here and you come out a little bit. Now all of a sudden you got the lake comes out. Alright, so there you have it and we have water in here. So what happens is sometimes you can fish right up against these dams, but the water is really, really strong, and I don't like fishing those places. I see people have success there. I just don't like fishing those, but if you have access, you can start um, by fishing right up in there. That would maybe be a good place to start. I like to try to figure out where these fish are coming from. Now, if you fish a lot in the area, you already know because you've been catching them here, here, and here, you know, and so on. You'll know where these fish are coming from. But if you don't know where these fish are coming from, you do know one thing, and that is where they are going. So you can still come up in here and intercept these fish. So what you would want to do is cast some. I like to fan out. If I don't know where the fish are at, I will fan out. I'll spread out, fan out. So here, here, here I am. I'll, I'll cast. I'll try to figure out. Now I know that all these fish are definitely going to be coming up in here, so I will make sure that I do cast one up in there. But I'm going to fan out and try to figure out where these fish are coming from. Are they coming straight in? Or are they coming from here? If I don't get no bites here within about an hour, I'll move around to the other side and do the exact same thing. But you are going to find fish. I promise you if you fish these warm water dams, you're going to find fish. So that is something that I like to do. I like to go here. I like to fan, span, fan out if I don't know where the fish are at. If I know where the fish are coming from, I will religiously go and target that area. If I know they're coming from up here, all my poles are going to be cutting them off. So if I know they're coming, the fish are here and coming to here, all my poles are going to be boom, 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 boom. They're going to be cutting them off and intercepting those fish. I live in Tennessee, and you can look up the TWRA which is the Fish and Wildlife Resource um, internet page for us. And it tells us when the dam's turning, uh, what time of the day they're turning it, how uh, many days that week they're going to turn it. So you can plan your fishing days for that, for that time. But you can go and visit your website, and they'll tell you things about their dams and stuff like that when they plan on turning them on. So that's a pretty good idea and give you uh, guys a heads up on when you should plan your fishing trips. So the next spot here... Let's say you have this lake here. Okay, and then you have, again, the water in here. But, here's what you want to look for. If you don't have access to a warm water dam, or you're just getting a bunch of small bites, and you want to see if you can go somewhere else and find some quality fish, um, here's what you can start looking for. Now, you guys can tell by looking at a map from... Um, and say this is the body of water we're fishing. Generally, these coves are going to be really good shallow spots, but if they're deep coves like this going really far back in here and the water is super cold, these cats aren't willing to make that travel back in there. But they will move up close to these coves and they will move into these shallow places right here. So, what you got to look for is you got to look for, okay, let's say from here in we have 10 foot of water. You know, so it, it's dropping off to 10 foot of water really slow. But all of a sudden we get out here and we've dropped off to 30 feet of water. So we, we can tell that we've got a pretty good ledge there. It drops off relatively quickly to 30 foot of water, which would be right in here. And what you're going to want to do is find places like this where you have a really good shallow spot that has 
bait fish holding up in it so you know where the bait is at and the catfish don't want to be up there because of how cold it is so what they're going to want to do is they're going to want to position up here and these are down there rather in those deep ledges at the bottom but it's really really quick for them just to be able to hop up and boom they're into the into the shallow spots but now as far as the time of the day that you want to fish these spots you definitely want to find sunny days really sunny days are awesome this time of year when the water stays cold when it's been cold outside all of a sudden you get a sunny day it doesn't necessarily have to be a warm day it doesn't need to be in the 50s or whatever it can still be a 30 degree day with the sun out it will warm the shallow water really fast and um, so now you're not going to want to get out there as soon as the sun comes up because you're going to be wasting your time the water is not going to be heated up that quickly so the best time that i've found to fish these spots on sunny days is around 12 o'clock so about mid midday to about an hour hour and a half into the night so you have a pretty good time time span but if you go there after dark you're going to be wasting your time they've done move back out the water started cooling off if you got there too early the water has not had time to heat up yet. They're not in there yet. So those are from about 12 to 1 o'clock or 1 hour after dark. Those are really good times to be fishing that transition area and even up in the shallows itself. Um, and now once it does get dark, what you can do, and you just have to go with the lay of the land. Now obviously this is a pretty good cast. You're probably more than likely, you're not going to be able to make a cast from here to there. But what can you do, you can move alongside the bank here. And you can come be fishing here and boom a really really short cast to that ledge because they're going to hold up in that ledge for a little while after dark they'll be setting up in there for a few more hours so you can move there and still be catching fish after they've moved out of here now whenever it goes deep into the night and it starts getting really cold these fish are going to want to start looking for the really really deep holes and so you have a really deep hole here and it's 70 feet of water that's going to be where it is and again it's going to be really hard to cast those places you may be able to come here and get pretty close to those but keep one thing in mind this time of year these fish as cold as it is are very very sluggish they don't want to move around so if you're 30 feet from that hole you think in the summertime if you're 30 feet from that hole you're getting bit those catfish are coming out of there in the winter time they're not going to move out of there so it's really hard to find those deep holes from the bank and be able to access them but there are some exceptions to this if you have say right here where it was really really straight the bank was say it was a cliff wall there or a really really steep bank then more than likely then that water is going to start getting really really deep really 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 fast you're going to have those lines showing on your map that boom 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 it's really deep really fast so all of a sudden we're in 60 foot of water right here now here's the only thing that kind of sucks about this is it's either a really steep bank and you're going to have to pull the fish up over that i don't like doing that or it's a really tall cliff wall and you cannot fish it so what you're going to have to do is try to get as close as you can to those spots since they are close to the bank by moving to maybe right here and casting instead of casting out so you don't always necessarily need to be casting straight out from where you're standing. You would want to cast this direction. So I see so many people going to places like this where there is potential cats holding up right here next to the bank in this deep water. But because they would have to be casting towards the bank, they think, oh, that's not deep over there or the catfish wouldn't be there. They'll again, they'll cast straight out and you have absolutely nothing, nothing out here. They don't get by get bit so cast you know think of where you're at think of uh, where the fish may be holding up and this is this is one of those opportunities where you can be here and cast right next parallel to the bank and be really good on some catfish now this last place that we're going to go over is definitely one of my favorite places to fish other than of course a warm water dam and I actually know of a couple of these places and I'm sure that you especially if you're a boater you can find these places I'm not a boater I'm a bank fisherman but bank fishermen we can find a couple of these places and that are flats that lead to really deep water I have a couple in mind that I fish and I'll show you guys about what that looks like so say I come down here say I come down in here and here this used to be an old boat ramp right here and you have the lake it's coming out here and it's really really deep in these areas over here we're talking it's like 40 feet here you got like 60 feet here 
but all of a sudden you come up to this flat here and that flat stretches out pretty good distance across the lake there and you're in like 15 foot of water now all around through here it's fairly deep except for like right here where I'm gonna be fishing at positioned at it's uh it's about 10 foot of water here and then it'll lead in on into 15 foot but what I'll do is get out there and fish I'll throw now when I fish these spots here's what I'll do I'll throw one as close as I can get to where I think the drop is and then I'll throw one in the drop because those catfish are going to be hanging out here in that 60 to 40 feet of water I'll throw one in the drop and then I'll try my best to get a really long cast and get up into the flat itself again fan casting is what I do this time of the year I, I would never recommend that you go and right off the bat even if you really really think that the fish are there uh, most of the time you're going to find those fish up on that flat sometimes you'll intercept them coming up in here but most of the time you're going to find them on that flat sometimes I've caught my biggest fish here and I would have never caught that fish if I didn't get hurt, if I would have threw all my poles up in here so I like to fan cast fan cast is a, a really good way to figure out where these fish are mostly at and then once you do start figuring out then like I said before you can just start positioning all your poles in that area and um, catch more of those fish but if you don't fan out you will have a hard time finding them so I hope that video helps you guys if you're not subscribed to the channel it would be really really awesome if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button it would mean a lot to me and I really hope that you guys liked it and if you've made it this far in the video I really really appreciate you watching the, this far in the video that's awesome and uh, again as always I hope to see you in the next one